Hey guys, so I apologize first off for I'm probably gonna be super monotone in this video. Um, I'm just tired and I don't know why because I haven't really done shit today but clean the house. Um, so I don't even know where to go with that and I hate, fucking hate when I don't go or I go a week without doing a video. I get so flustered and I just got this shirt. It's so cute and I didn't, obviously it looks really bad with this bra underneath but it's so cute but the arms are so freaking tight because it's like a spandex shirt. I was really hoping it was cotton, but it was like one of those free size, because I'm sure it's from like China, so it's just one of those free size, uh, one size fits all shirts. But it is really cute, and they have a bunch of different styles, but it's just that swimsuit material. It's very odd. Um, but anyway, so unexpectedly, for me anyway, last Thursday, my family showed up and stayed with me for a week. Now, I knew they were coming because stuff involving my niece but basically I was told they were going to stay at a hotel because I only have I don't I have one big blow up queen bed in my living room but um I get a text message like late Thursday night and my sister goes oh we'll be in town in 30 minutes and I'm like oh they're just gonna stop by and say hi and unbeknownst to me I didn't know that they were staying with me basically because we're just financial situation is fucked so they stayed with me um and they stayed a little bit longer than planned so I really didn't have time to do anything other than you know be with family and I'm just I have really bad OCD cleaning the house making sure like I'm I can't entertain like I love cooking I cook constantly this week and I really love doing that but I would like get up every morning and sweep the kitchen mop the floor mop everything I'd have to dust it was just like who like the dishwasher probably ran like twice a day every day for a week like it's insane laundry um so I haven't had much uh, to talk about. I was going to do a whole story time. I literally thought I was going to die because I am such a hypochondriac. I have a lot of issues. Um, such a hypochondriac. I'm scared of everything. Like even when it comes to food and, you know, a lot of that my whole life. Like when it comes to certain makeups, I just think I'm going to explode. Something's going to happen to me, whatever. Um, but we were barbecuing last week and I had my best friend over and her... Um, boyfriend, whatever. We were drinking beer, obviously, while we were barbecuing, and there was a cigarette put out in a beer can. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all know where the story is headed, but I'm sitting there drinking this beer, and it doesn't taste different to me at this point, but I'm just, it's almost like a smoky flavor, you know, but it's like, while the grill's going, there's smoke billowing everywhere, and it just smells like lighter fluid and whatever, so as I'm drinking, I'm thinking all I'm doing is kind of like smelling the barbecue as I'm drinking this beer. And the third time I take a sip, I go to set it down and the beer kind of switches in the can and I hear the like, the mystery lump of whatever is in this beer can and without missing a beat. It just all hit me all at once. I realized why. And like, if you're me, I don't sip on beer. Like I'll finish a can of beer in like a few gulps. I don't know what, I'm just not a classy beer drinker. I can't sip on beer. I can sip on a mixed drink. Beer, that's like water. I chug that shit. So luckily I didn't get like straight ash in my mouth like I didn't feel it because I guess it had just put it somebody had just put it in there so I'm, I'm hoping it was like it floated at the bottom I don't know but I immediately realized what had happened I jump up run to the bathroom make myself throw up and I just like brush the living shit out of my teeth and I just sit there in silence like waiting for death to happen but I'm so terrified and if I were to tell my friend she'd be like oh my god are you like we need to like she would have like freaked me out even more so I literally thought, uh, like, ruined my fucking day because I, my stomach's, like, I, it was all in my head. Of course, I had, see, I didn't burp, sorry, excuse me. I had to go up to Yahoo Answer, and of course, even children, they're just like, oh, I remember doing that. I walked up and took a drink of, um, a can of soda, and somebody put a cigarette, like, we'll be fine. But I was so petrified. It was horrible. Like, I woke up the next day and I like, could still smell smoke. It's weird whenever you get drunk at barbecues and you go home and then you wake up and you just smell like you were grilled, you know? Um, but nothing exciting has been happening. I just do feel bad because I haven't had time to do anything else. Um, and I feel like this is like a rant once a week that I have. Also, my job can go suck a big fat one because we get our schedules in, the email, in an email, right? So every week we get a schedule and I look... Last week I had, I told you guys about the hour cuts. I had three days last week. Bitch, I don't work. Today is Saturday. My last day was Thursday. I don't work again until Wednesday. Like it just, it's fucking nuts. And I was talking to a woman that's been there for a really long time. She's retired. She just works there for something to do. You know, all her kids are grown, la da da. And I'm like, so what's the deal? I'm like, why are, because it's not just me. Why are all these people's hours being cut so dramatically? And she's like, sweetie, she's like, all these young kids, you know, if they're not getting their hours, they're just going to eventually quit. And she's like, that's when I get my hours. And she kind of started laughing, which I understand. But they just had this mass hire of people 
they hired all these people and they're giving them no hours. And then, you know, it's like, oh, they're just trying to weed out the good ones. And I get it if it's on your schedule that you just want 20 hours a week, you know, two days here and there, just for a little bit of extra money. I'm like, no. What the fuck? You know, because it literally went from me having 45 hours a week to like 10. It just doesn't make any sense to me. My first week there, I literally got offered one like step, like an assistant manager position. I, I'm getting mad. I'm getting spit bubbles. An assistant manager position because they said I was doing so well. And my point was, I said I didn't want full time because I have shit going on. That doesn't mean I want nothing, you know? And they were totally cool with it at the time. I said, because I have a niece here. I have priorities at home. Whatever. No, I don't want to be a fucking crusty manager at a retail place. I'm sorry. Like, that's not going to be my dig right now. I'm not going to do it. Not until I'm like 40 and I want to kill myself. Am I going to work manager at a retail place? If you can do it, Godspeed, you're a fucking angel. Not I. Not me. But I will work my ass off with what you give me. You know what I'm saying? But just livid. Absolutely livid. So I'm half-ass thinking of going with my best friend. She's a waitress at this place. But it's still... And people... In the it wasn't it was one person, but they made up a point. They're like, well, if you're da da da, just go back and get a, get a go to college and get a career. Doesn't it sound beautiful? Like if I truly had ambition and that's what I wanted to do, sure. But I've made it clear before. I don't want to go back to college. I would love to take classes on things I'm interested in, but in my life right now, it's not realistic. Because in the comment I said, Matt went to college for two years. And was in debt so much, he had to drop out. And he is still in $70,000 worth of debt that he's paying off now. Which fucks us with bills and everything. Because it's a constant almost $300 a month on top of all our other bills has to go toward his his student loans. I don't have $70 to shit out of my asshole and just go go to school. You know, he went for computer engineering. But um, it, whatever major you take, you know. And I'm not about to take out student loans and like ruin, you know. I don't know. The only thing that if you if you truly want to go to college and have a and like whatever you have to be like in my belief you have to be a hundred percent sure that is what you want to do you have to be like committed or else whatever and it, it did it was really sad whenever I found out because we I had met Matt after he had, had um, dropped out of college but it literally he didn't have a way to pay for it you know it, all the money was out so that really does suck so that's why whenever I talk about Patreon or stuff like that which I'll be doing this week. That's why I talk about that because it's just, I, nobody knows my situation better than me, so thank you. Um, but that's what I've been doing this whole week and I feel bad about leaving anybody hanging and not, not that I'm sure anybody missed me that much, but I do get very, very annoyed whenever I watch a channel on a regularity, is that a word? And they just don't post for like weeks at a time. I'm like, what? Fuck. Um, but this isn't like my whole life. I do love it very, very much and I'm missed it so much i this is the first time in yeah a week and a half since i've been home by myself um meaning like five other people here constantly running around doors open da -da -da, just drives me crazy um i am gonna throw another video up i have to charge my phone a little bit i just really really wanted to get this up and we will talk in a minute because i have to change my shirt because i'm a huge loser because i can't do a video twice in a row and like have the same shirt on because who does that but i love you guys and that was just an update and i'll see you guys in the next video